Okay, well, we've taken the, um, the ribs down just a little bit with this uh, razor plane. Uh, it did not plane anywhere along this area, but only along the edges here, or along the ends as it tapers into the, uh, the trailing edge. Now, we're going to finish this off with a 60 grit uh, sanding pad. And again, uh, always use a big pan, <laughs> use a big pad, and uh, or big block, and uh, some new sandpaper so it'll cut nicely. Very light touch is all that's needed. Uh, you don't want to do a heavy hand on this. So all I'm going to do is, is, uh, is just basically follow the ribs. Now I'm not putting, I'm not going to try to sand anything in this area. I'm basically just going to pick up the angle, maybe apply a little bit more pressure as I get toward the, uh, the trailing edge here. And we're going to bring these uh, ribs down to basically zero, and they're going to meet the going to meet the edge there. Now, I can't think of anything more boring to watch in a video with somebody sanding something, but on the other hand, it might might be helpful just to see how it was done. I think the number one thing you need to remember is use 60 grit sandpaper, a light touch, and take your time. There's absolutely no reason to hurry this process. In fact, I usually spend probably 20 minutes doing just, just this part. Now, the other thing about sanding is uh, it's best to sand all over and bring the whole thing uh, down to where you want it all at once rather than to sand in one place. You can, you can really get yourself off and it's just not a good idea. Um, I'm going to come along here to take these uh, edges off a little bit. The uh, trailing edge itself is uh, 16th inch ply, as you know, and uh, so it it holds up real well as a guide. We're not going to take up the whole video showing you how to do this, but I just wanted to give you the idea. And uh, it's amazing, really, how how this thing all comes together. I'm kind of curving. I'm not, I'm not applying hardly any pressure here, and I'm just sort of curving around. Uh, there won't be much curve in these uh, ribs anyway, but just to give you a bit of an idea. It's coming out real nice. It's almost done on... You see right here how the rib has just come right into the... Uh, that's just the way it's supposed to look. Should come right down to one sixteenth of an inch, which is the width of the uh, of the trailing edge. So it starts out here. Uh, no sanding on this area. It should be should be right, and then you just bring it down and around. So uh, there's still more sanding to do, but uh, this will give you the general idea of how it's done. And then when uh, when you're done with the sixty and you know you're done, you might just give it a this is 100 grit. This is, this is all the finer grit you will need. And away you go.